Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My channel is all about tech, sneakers, unboxings, reviews, and film and photography. Today we are specifically going to talk about how to connect your iPad to your monitor. Now a lot of you are probably working from home due to the whole pandemic, or, or you could just be someone who wants to connect their iPad to an external monitor and use it for work or games or whatever you want to use it for. Or you could be someone who just wants to simply plug it in and have the display go to the monitor and we're going to do that in this video. Let's go to my editing setup. Okay so to start things off you are going to need an HDMI cord. I got this one off of Amazon. I'll link all of the cords and wires and everything in the description if you guys want to pick it up. And then what you're going to need is an HDMI to USB-C adapter. So this one also on Amazon. Once again the link is down below. All you're going to do is basically plug one end of the HDMI cord into the adapter part here and then the USB-C we're going to go connect it to the iPad right now. So USB-C right into the iPad port right there. Now we're just going to plug the HDMI into the actual monitor. Now the feed is going from the iPad to the monitor and there we go. So guys you can see the responsiveness is actually really really good as I'm moving my fingers it's going pretty much at the exact same time on the actual monitor and if you guys have the Apple Pencil it's pretty much the exact same thing. You can see how responsive everything is which is awesome. There's barely any lag whatsoever. Now keep in mind since the iPad isn't exactly as wide as my monitor because I have an ultra wide you'll notice those black bars there but if you guys have a regular size monitor everything should be fine without any black bars at all. So if you guys want to do photo editing now or video editing it's going to be a lot easier on a bigger screen that is for sure. Right now I just have Lightroom open here so if I wanted to change anything like exposure and all that it's going to be a lot easier to see on a bigger screen especially Especially if you guys don't have the huge iPad like I do because I have the 12.9 inch so it's a little bit easier to see everything but if you guys have any of these smaller iPads it's going to be a lot nicer to use on a bigger screen. So once again super convenient if you are doing video editing you're going to get the timeline filled up across the screen and then a much much bigger image so it's going to be a lot better in my opinion. So guys this is super convenient for video editing or if you just want to maybe even just use the keyboard and mouse and just overall use it almost like an actual computer. Having the iPad connected to a monitor, especially an ultra wide, is just a really great experience. So there you have it guys. Your iPad should be connected to your monitor now. You are free to do as much work as you want from home. Play some games on there. Watch some videos. Do whatever the heck you want to do with it. But this video should help you. Basically what you need is that HDMI cord all the way over there. And the HDMI to USB-C adapter. Now once again they are in the description if you guys do need to pick them up. Amazon Prime that bad boy and then you are good to go. But anyways guys this is the end of the video. If this helped you out make sure you like and subscribe. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.